In today's lesson, we are going to simply make omelettes. Okay, I'm going to make a very simple, basic omelette first of all, and then we're going to see if these guys, so we've got Josh here, Lakshmi, and Nico, who are helping me in the kitchen today. Um, they are going to then make some better omelettes with a little bit of a twist to them. So you're going to do a ham and cheese omelette, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to do a mushroom omelette, aren't you, Nico? And you are going to be doing a tomato omelette, okay? Brilliant. So we're going to just make a simple omelette now. Uh, these are the ingredients we need. We've got eggs, so I'm going to use two eggs, a bit of olive oil uh, to cook with, a bit of a uh, tiny bit of knob of butter because it gives it a nice flavour to it. I've got unsalted butter here. I've got some normal table salt here and some black peppercorns which I'm going to grind. Okay, so first of all, we are going to crack two eggs into here. I've got a bowl here. So I'm just going to crack an egg by tapping on the side and then opening up like that and then the egg comes out. Okay, and then I can pop that away. Okay, so tap, tap, tap very gently and then crack it. I've got a whisk here. You could actually whisk it up with a whisk, um, but I find it's just as easy to use a fork to whip an egg. So if we just zoom in on that egg, you can see, I'm just gonna whip it. This is the technique to whip it, guys. Yeah, so up and over. So I'm doing that action with my fork, yeah? Can you see? Today we're using free range eggs, okay? Does anybody any, have any idea why free range eggs might be a bit better to use? Go on, Nicole, what do you reckon? Because they're best for animal welfare. Okay, battery hens, they, they stay in little cages, okay? And they spend their whole lives in cages. Uh, and then they lay loads of eggs all of the time. And when they finish laying eggs, then actually they um, are just killed as yeah. boiler chickens. Now you actually have chickens of your own, don't you, Josh, in your house? So tell us about your chickens. How many eggs chickens do you have? Um, I have three female chickens, and they so three hens. Yeah, they lay an egg a day. An egg a day. Yeah. So you eat fresh eggs all the time, don't you? Omelette, and that's even better than free range because you know where the food comes from. Uh, you know exactly how the chickens have been treated. That they've had a happy, healthy life. And actually, when they're finished laying eggs, you don't kill them, do you? You keep them as well, sort of semi like semi pets, don't they? Yeah. So, back to the cooking. We've got the eggs, the free range eggs, two eggs which have been whipped. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in them, okay? So, I'm just going to grind a bit of pepper, not too much. I like pepper, that's probably quite a lot of pepper there. I've got just some normal salt here, so I'm just going to take a tiny little pinch, okay? So, I've only got a little pinch in there, I'm going to put some salt in there like that. Um, and I'll give that a quick stir. Okay. Now that we've uh, whipped our eggs, it's time to fry. I've got a normal frying pan here. Um, it's a non-stick pan. I'm using a gas cooker. So I'm just going to heat the pan a little bit first of all on the hog. Always heat the pan before you put the oil in or the butter in, okay? So always have a nice hot pan before you start cooking. Okay, I have a little bit of olive oil and I've got a tiny bit of butter I've just taken out, there we go. Um, we're adding the butter really for a little bit of flavour and when you put the butter in you'll see it will bubble. You don't want the butter to go brown. If it gets too hot then the butter goes brown and it's not very nice, it goes a bit bitter. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of oil in as well because oil helps the butter not burn. Okay, so if I just push that in. So the pan is getting a little bit warm. You'll see the butter melting straight away, which is a good sign. Okay, do you see the butter melting? For a two egg omelette, actually that's quite a lot of oil. You can probably go with a little bit less if you want to be a bit healthier. Probably use, uh, uh, like I say, I'm using olive oil, but everything in moderation. You can have butter in your diet, can't you? As long as you don't have too much of it all the time, okay? Right, so we're just going to move that butter around the pan a little bit. You can see it there on the video. Yeah, and I'm just going to pour in my egg. So you don't want it really, really hot. And can you see that the butter is still quite yellow? Okay, I probably could have done it a little bit hotter. Okay, but I just want to move this egg a little bit in my omelette. Move it around a bit. Okay, can you just see I'm sliding it very slowly? 
spreading it around the pan, we'll move it again and then spread that raw egg around the pan like so. Keep it off the edges. Just do a little bit, bit more moving. You can see all of that egg cooking. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, it's stiffening up so it's not as runny anymore. Just keep on moving it around the pan. There's no hurry. Just keep watching it. Make sure it's non, not sticking. I'm using a non-stick pan here so it shouldn't stick as much. Okay, and can you see that? Yeah. There's hardly any liquid left. We'll just leave it for a little bit longer. Now, if you wanted to put some grated cheese on here, you could put some nice grated cheese on about this point here. And then when you fold your omelette later on, that will carry on cooking. So you could put some cheese, a little bit of ham maybe. Um, now you, Nikhil, said you wanted to do a mushroom omelette. Now if you want to do a mushroom omelette, you'll have to cook the mushrooms first and then add the egg to the mushrooms is the best way okay. to do it, I think. So guys, here is our simple two egg omelette. We've used free range eggs because um, it's, it's better for animal welfare. Um, uh, some people say it tastes better. Uh, what do you think? Yeah? yeah, yeah. I think there's no difference. You don't think there's a difference? Some most people don't think there's a difference. An eggs and egg taste the same, but animal welfare for the few pennies more. Okay, we know our food provenance, which is that this food has come from uh, a nice sustainable source and also from uh, chickens that have been looked after well, hens that have been looked after well. So check taste our egg omelette and give us a critique on what you think of it. Okay, there we go. Just have a quick taste of our simple mm. omelette. Bit of salt, bit of pepper, egg, and butter, and a tiny bit of oil was all that was in that omelette. And it's actually quite tasty. Yeah, it was really, it was actually really nice. Uh, if you watch any of Jamie Oliver or Gordon Ramsay, they'll say that you should probably cook your omelette a little bit less than we did. Okay, but we need to make sure that the eggs are fully cooked because there is a risk of salmonella from raw eggs. Okay, so pregnant women in particular need to be very careful that they don't eat raw eggs. Um, so if you make any fresh mayonnaise or anything like that which involves raw eggs, then pregnant people should really eat that. So if you just look at that egg, it's not overdone, um, but it is probably just a little bit more done than I prefer it, but I, this is safer to cook it like this. Okay? Yeah. Right, so you are now going to go and make your own omelette. You're going to do a mushroom omelette so we can slice the mushrooms. So I've already washed these mushrooms. You're not supposed to wash mushrooms too much but you need to get off all the main soil but you don't want to take away any of the flavour of a mushroom. Okay so I'm just going to quickly just show you how to cut a mushroom. I can do a, a few things. I can do a slice okay so using a very sharp knife slicing it. Notice I'm going to use what's called a claw grip okay a claw grip which is my left hand here which is my non-cutting hand I'm just gonna make a little claw right claw raw claw yeah excellent um, I'm gonna put the claw there and can you see my fingers are actually well out of the way there's yeah. no way I can cut my fingers because I'm just gonna cut let's do some nice slices of mushroom like so yeah so can you see I've got nice thin slices of mushroom yeah, yeah okay when you fry the mushroom they will shrink a little bit in the pan so they're not being as big as that um, we could cut them into quarters so there's another cutting method which is um, called the bridge grip okay so can you see I'm bridging over my thumb and my finger I want either side of the vegetable and then I just cut yeah and that's a quarter so that's called a bridge grip and the other one was called a claw grip okay, okay. brilliant so yeah do you see the difference if I slip I can hit my fingers but if you use the claw grip you can hold it like that and it's out of the way okay and your, your knife is only ever going to touch the top of your fingers like that okay right let's put all our mushrooms back in the pot here okay excellent use a tea towel to hold the pan Making sure, hold on, making sure that you're only top holding this end. Yeah? Yeah. So you don't want to catch up too tight on fire. Let's put your mushrooms on top. On one half, go. Put it quick, quick. Go on over, cook our omelette. We're over cooking it now. There we go. Sit, take the plate away. Okay, and then we'll just 
fold that over and there we go. Okay. And you're going to do a cheese and ham one, which means that you're going to grate the cheese so it melts easier, and you're going to grate that in while the omelet is still in the pan. Is uh, some normal cheddar cheese, okay, which is what everybody has in their fridge, I think. So we just bought a new pack of this, so we'll just rip that open, get a little block of cheese out. I'm just going to cut a tiny bit of cheese off for you because it's easier to grate if you've only got a tiny little bit. So we'll just take a tiny bit of cheese, we'll pop the rest back in the packet. And this is a resealable one, so you just seal it up. Look. Okay. It's resealed. And then that can go back in the fridge. Okay. Uh, we've got a little block of cheese, that's enough for a two egg omelette. In fact, that's probably quite a lot of cheese. It's going to be a really cheesy omelette. Um, so we probably don't need all of it. But I'll just quickly show you how to grate. So be careful with your fingers. Hold a bit like um, the grip for, yeah, like the claw grip, holding your fingers back a little bit so then you don't grate them. But then of course you can always stop, there's no hurry. Okay? So if you hold it like that, hold that on that side and then grate it. Right, you see it's got a little bit of wobble to it still. So we'll just cook it for a little bit longer. Actually, you can sprinkle some of your cheese down the middle. Let's get some cheese on. So this is a cheese and ham on there. Do you want to put some shredded ham on top? So we've just got some ham here, popping it. The ham doesn't need cooking, it's already cooked, isn't it? Are you happy with that amount? Yeah. Right, so it's a little bit gooey still, just in the middle. So we'll just cook it for a little bit longer and then we're going to fold it in half and we'll put it on a plate. Yeah. So I'm going to fold it in half. If I fold it in half, the inside of the omelette is still hot and it's still melting the cheese a little bit. Okay, so that's a perfect omelette and we could just turn it out onto the plate like that. Okay. You're going to make a tomato and egg omelette. So I'm going to show you how to cut some tomatoes. So we've got some cherry tomatoes, okay? They're smaller tomatoes, much smaller. Some yeah. people say they've got a lot more taste. I think they have a lot more taste. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to use the same methods as we did before. We're going to use that bridge, uh, bridge grip, okay? And watch it. I've got my bridge like that, and I'm going to cut my tomato that way round, okay? okay. So, because uh, they're cherry tomatoes, they're quite small, we'll do just half. Okay. We'll cut them in half, shall we? Yeah. So, hold it on the bridge grip like that, and then pull towards me. And then I've got a perfect tomato. Actually, that's, they're quite big cherry tomatoes, so let's cut them into quarters, okay? Okay. So, sharp knife, really important. That's actually probably enough tomatoes, what do you reckon? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. When you come into your lesson, really quickly, you need to get the pan on, you need to get your eggs whipped, you need to grate your cheese, or you need to use your ham. I would suggest that most of you just do a simple, basic, plain omelette with a bit of salt and pepper. If you want to challenge yourself to do a little bit more, bring some cheese in, and then we can grate the cheese on, or you can put some mushrooms in, but you really only can do that if you are 100% certain you can finish in 45 minutes. You need to have cooked, cleaned, washed up, and eaten in 45 minutes. Now, we've got a tomato and cheese omelette here to finish. Now, if you use a nice little container, you can put that in a lunchbox and take it home. Really nice to eat at home. Not too bad to eat cold either, an omelette. It's not too bad at all, especially in a sandwich. So a bit of butter, a bit of tomato ketchup. Excellent. So there we go.